everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have my new Mimi G uh, skinny jeans. Uh, it is the, I'll pop a picture up here, the um, Simplicity 8222 pattern. I have made view B which is the jeans. I think view A is the jacket. Um, and I am here to not only talk about the jeans, which I will hear in just a second, but I wanted to compare them with my ginger jeans as well. So um, that's kind of what today's video is about. These jeans are part of my Mimi G capsule that I am currently putting together and I will have, this was the last part that I needed to make for that. So I will have a full lookbook for you guys on Tuesday next week. So be on the lookout for that. So before we start, again, so you don't miss that or the future videos, uh, hit subscribe please. Uh, that way you'll know when I have new videos drop, which is every Tuesday and Friday, or I try to have every Tuesday and Friday. I've had a couple of times with some technical issues, but for the most part, every Tuesday and Friday. Um, and also give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It helps me plan my content. So without further ado, I say that a lot, I've noticed. <laughs> Let's start off with my new jeans. So before I pop a picture of me wearing them, let's talk a little bit about the pattern. This is a skinny jean pattern. I have them here with me. Let me zip them up. A skinny jean pattern, and it is for denim with at least 25% stretch. This is very critical. These jeans are much stretchier, or meant to be much stretchier than the ginger jeans. Um, in fact, here they are. This is a Robert Kaufman um, stretch denim. It has 25% stretch, and you can kind of see just how stretchy they are. Um, they're not quite a jigging, because uh, they do. They are a fully functioning pair of jeans. We've got um, the coin pocket up here, um, functioning pockets, they aren't just the faux ones. We've got back pockets, all functioning, um, and then a zip fly <clears throat> here at the front. So yes, so that is the one biggest difference with the ginger jeans is these require a lot more stretch in your denim. So beware of that um, when you're picking. I did have, or I do have some cone mill denim in my stash right now and decided not to use them because I didn't think it'd be stretchier enough. And I'm so glad I didn't because that would have been a complete waste of denim. Um, so again, I used the Robert Kaufman um, stretch denim and it is, I got it off of fabric.com and they still have some and I'll put a link to that fabric down below um, for that. Uh, use the traditional gold top stitching thread with the dark denim, which I thought was kind of fun. I kind of liked. Um, I went with a brass uh, button and matching brass rivets. And these are left over. I have purchased so many like jeans hardware kits from um, oh Blackbird Fabrics and Closet Case Patterns and anywhere else. I just actually ordered a couple from Megan Nielsen. <laughs> But I, they always give you extras to practice with. So I have accumulated quite a uh, stash of various hardware and buttons and that kind of thing, which is kind of fun. Um, but I did the rivets on the little coin pocket and on the edges to reinforce both edges of my front pockets. And then I also did it on the outside edges of my back pockets. Um, these, let's see, are meant, they're not a cropped jean, they're meant to go the full length of your leg, and mine do, they just hit the end of my leg. Um, I really like these. I had a couple of fit issues with these, um, and actually I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pop me in these jeans so you can kind of see me in them, and then we will compare them with the gingers. So for starters, I had a couple of little fit issues, issues with these. Again, I made these to fit my hips because I find it much easier to adjust your waist than to do anything with the hip. So I made the size 14, but I graded out, I think I added a 5 eighths of an inch to each outside, <clears throat> each side seam just at the waist. So I did it just at the waist and then graded down to nothing at like that first notch, which really straightens out that hip curve. Um, I probably didn't need to add that much, especially with um, the stretch in the fabric, um, because I do have some gaping at the back. Now, the one nice thing about this jean pattern is that it has a curved waistband. So it hugs, the top of the waistband is smaller than the bottom part of the waistband that attaches to the jeans, so it hugs your body a little better. I think the issue that I have with the gaping in the back of my waist is that um, I maybe added a little too much at the waist. I just got nervous. Um, I hate when things cut into me. Uh, another uh, change that I made to this pattern was that I did not interface the waistband. 
Heather Lou did a whole extensive uh, blog post. She has a jeans making ebook on her website and talks about how virtually every pair of jeans that she deconstructed when she was making up her ginger jean pattern, none of them had interfacing in the waistband. They would have interfacing at the buttonhole and where the button went, but not for the rest of the waistband. And I have done it both ways. I have um, interfaced a ginger jean waistband. I have used like a sturdy cotton for the facing of the ends. Actually, my other the ginger jeans I have here, I've done that um, to give it more stability. And I just find the ones that I used a stretch denim on but did not interface the waistband and just interface the area where the buttonhole went and also where the button went are so much more comfortable than, than the others. So, and again, I have a tummy and my waist is a little thicker and it expands and contracts as I sit and stand. And I just find it so much more comfortable not to have the um, interfacing. Um, another comment on these jeans, I did make these Mimi G jeans come in a slim, average, and curvy um, backs. So I the difference is the hip measurement. So you have your given hip measurement, <clears throat> but I think it's a half of an inch difference in each one. And the crotch curve is longer. So it's a little shorter for the slim, a little bit longer for the average, and then longest for the curvy so that it can kind of make that wrap. I debated. I'm very straight through my hips, so that told me to make a slim. However, I have junk in the trunk, like my butt does go back out. Um, but in the end, I decided to go with the slim, and I just adjusted the rise. So I raised the rise um, in the center back up an inch, and then I lowered the rise at the side seam by an inch. So there's a two inch difference from my side seam to my center back on my back. And then in the front, I lowered the front rise by two inches and then I lowered in the center and then at the side I just lowered it an inch so it matched my side seam um, just because I'm very I have a very short rise I'm short everywhere but for my, my rise my pelvis area is short so I tend to get a lot of extra fabric like in the crotch if I'm not careful and if I don't adjust that properly so um, that seemed to take care of that um, yeah, I, I love these jeans. Again, I don't think I needed to add quite as bit of um, extra room in the waist as I did, but you know what? These are super comfortable and they're gonna get a lot of wear. So, you've seen me prancing around in those. Let's talk a little bit about how they contrast with the ginger jean. Now, <clears throat> here are my ginger jeans. These have been well loved. These are my very first pair that I've made. No, they aren't, I take that back. My second pair, I made a white pair um, that I messed up. I mean, I wore them for a while, but I have a new white pair now. Um, I made these out of cone mill denim. It is nicely worn. I love these because they're worn and they're completely fitted to my body. I used a Liberty fabric for the inside of the waistband. I totally forgot to serge this seam when I was making these jeans and didn't realize it till I'd done my top stitching. So, you know what? This is like my second pair of jeans. We just go with it. Um, I just did rivets on the side pockets and on, let's see hiding there and then on the coin pocket I did not put them on the back pockets on these um, between the two jean patterns I do like the ginger jean pocket better it's bigger and it is curved at one side I find that more flattering on the butt but um, that's very easy to use I mean if I wanted to make a stretchier jean pattern in the Mimi G it's a very easy thing to switch also the ginger jeans have a grown on fly uh, shield at the front. I prefer that. Mimi G, it was just straight through the front cr crotch curve and you had a fly piece that you added. Um, I prefer actually the grown on. I, it just gives you a little extra play when you're installing the zipper um, and that kind of thing. Um, again, these jeans are well worn. They're already like wearing in places and I love that. So you can see, I wore these for um, quite a while before I washed them, but you can see how the denim like that's just for me wearing them. I don't wear, wash these very often. I also cut a little too close to my seam line and I'm totally like, okay, I could probably fix that, but that'll need to be mended at some point. And then the back, you can see the color differentiation just from wearing them. And I love that so much. Um, again, these are a couple of years old, but I thought these would be my closest um, representation or closest comparison to the other one. This, these are View B, so these are the straight leg uh, ginger jeans and the little bit lower rise. These aren't the super high rise. Um, I've made the super, I've made the high rise, but these are the lower rise. I've made all of the ginger jean variations. <laughs> but anyway, that is 
yeah, that is that. Um, I'll put up a picture of me kind of wearing the ginger jeans so you can kind of see that a little bit better too. Um, again, these fit me like a glove. Uh, mostly because I've just worn them so much and the denim has now molded to my body. Um, I was not able to wear these last year because I was, um, again, I've mentioned that I was ill and I packed on some serious like water weight last year. So I was not able to wear these at all last year. So it was a very wonderful surprise that I was able to get into these comfortably um, this year. And they just, I've been wearing them nonstop. Again, I'm going to have to do some mending here soon. But that's the fun of denim when you get to mend and they become yours and they fit your body just perfectly. So anyway, that is kind of the difference in the patterns. Um, I was going to kind of do a, like which one I prefer type of video, but I really feel like they are two different pairs of jeans. So while the gingers are a stretch jean pattern, they're really... Um, meant for denims that are just have a little bit of stretch you know just a little bit of give enough to where you can do a skinnier jean and just have a little bit of give the mimi g are meant for like a really stretchy denim um as far as wovens go 25 percent is quite a bit and um it's just a different style of denim you can go super tight with these as i did um but i find it's almost a little bit more jigging territory um where you get a little bit more structure maybe with the ginger jeans and I have a feeling that the ginger jeans will wear better just because they have less elastane in them than the um, Robert Kaufman although I'm very impressed with the Robert Kaufman denim it's just a different kind of denim for a different kind of look so I'm not very helpful am I I mean they're just two different pairs of jeans I'm gonna I mean I already love wearing my gingers and um, again I've made actually I've made seven pairs of gingers I currently only have six of those um, I gave my first white pair away just because I had a whole bunch of mess ups Put a leather patch on the back and when I washed it the dye on the leather ran down the back <laughs> I still wore them though and um, anyway they've been replaced with a new pair of white gingers so um, so yeah I just I love the ginger pattern and I will continue to make the ginger jean pattern but this was a fun little deviation from that and I'm really happy how they turned out and they are a wonderful addition to my little um, capsule wardrobe which again I'll be showing you on Tuesday because that that whole capsule is now finished um, yeah uh, so yeah, I think that's I think that about wraps it up. I think that's all I had to say about those two jean patterns. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions below. Um, and yeah, I would be happy to share. Uh, so until next time, happy sewing, and I'll see you soon.